dad isn't what I expected, in the best way. I thought it was all responsibility and boring stuff, but it's so much fun as well. I got to a stage in my life where I was comfortable, I had work, and I was going out lots in London. And I just thought, there's got to be more to life than this. And luckily, I met Jess, my wife, and we had our firstborn, and everything changed. I became more responsible. But the, the, the power of having a child, it, it brings out superpowers in yourself. And I love that. I love the responsibility I have looking after my children. And that's repaid in their affection, their actions when they don't even know I'm there. It's, it's brilliant being a dad. My children are a force of nature. I'm sure every parent says that, but I think it's because their age is so close together. There's only 18 months between three of them and they're all boys. They're loud, they're energetic, but they're polite and fun. They've, they've got their individual characters. The twins are quite similar, but they're starting to show individual characteristics themselves as well. My children, to start with Rex, the eldest, he's three and a half now. I had him kicking a ball on the beach at Tynemouth uh, just after one years old. I had him throwing a ball when he was six, seven months. He's pretty advanced. He's very sporty. I love that. The twins, it's, it's too easy to bunch the twins up as a package because they're identical and they do everything together. Until now, they're starting to show their individual characteristics. From a very young age, they were both brave. They, they were doing slides on their own, I think before they should have done, but they were only doing them at first for some reason. Um, they're pretty much kamikaze, the twins. I think they're braver than maybe Rex was at their age. They're cheeky, but they're so polite. And that's important to me. You can be as cheeky as you want, but as long as you've got manners, I think you get away with murder. And that's what I want from them. I don't want them to be referred to as the twins. They're individual people. So it's important to me that we embrace their individuality. But then sometimes you just, you see them talking to each other and they fall asleep hugging each other. They're, they love each other so much. And they love their elder brother, Rex, equally. Rex is the hero. The twins copy anything and everything Rex does. So that means buying three of everything. Even though the twins probably, they shouldn't be doing those sort of things at that age. Keeping up with fancy dress costumes is a, is a challenge. But um, they love dressing up and charging around the house and giving me a headache. Describing my children in three words, it's not easy actually. Rex, loving, caring, energised. Cormac, cheeky, funny and caring. Rafa, thoughtful, equally caring and equally energetic. I think it's when we took them to a farm stroke zoo stroke kids heaven. It ended up badly because we lost one of the children for, I don't know, 20 minutes. And that was pretty much the worst part of my life. But we found him again and, and there was fallings out over ice creams because they were very young. But they loved it there so much to seeing the joy in their faces when they get to hold a little animal. And then when they all went together on the bouncy castle, playing with each other, just yipping and guffawing, with wild abandon, if that's the right phrase, it, was, it meant so much to me because I didn't have that. I didn't have that sort of childhood. Mine was tough. 
But this, this was my children enjoying what they should be doing. Just fun, freedom, doing what they want. And it meant a lot to me because I knew myself as a father, I'd broken the chain and my children would be happy. And seeing that happiness on their faces, in their emotions, in their actions, that means the world to me. The most important life lesson, if you like, that I want to ingrain into my children's minds is family first. Always look after your family, your brothers, your mother, everyone close to you like that. Put them first, support them, love them, and know they're so much more important than anyone else. Look after each other, keep in contact with each other and your mum and your uncles and my friends. Hopefully they'll still be a part of your life. And after that, I want them to believe they can do anything. I firmly believe that if my children want to do something and they apply themselves, they can achieve anything. I want them to be confident, but believe in yourselves because you can do anything. I know that now. I've seen how they react. I've seen their capabilities and they're boundless. I almost know that you'll be proper lads. You know, you get into trouble, no drama. Hopefully not too much trouble, but I'm confident that you'll be, you'll be polite, you'll be well liked, and you'll be dead good at stuff. That sounds general, but you'd be good at whatever you turn your hands to. I'm gutted I won't get to see how they turn out, but up to now, I'm so impressed with them. There, I couldn't be more proud of my boys. And everybody is so complimentary about them. It warms my heart. I couldn't wish for a better person to co-parent with. She's kind of everything I'm not. She's definitely the yin to my yang. She's born to be a parent. She really is. She's, she's so natural. None of it is forced. I thought the other day she got, got into bed and just collapsed. And I just thought she parents herself into the ground, but it, in a very good way. I almost wish she'd do less. And I totally wish I could do more. It's frustrating really, but she loves her children so much. And I've got such confidence that they'll receive the best upbringing because they'll have her as a mum. It means the world to me. And she will, she means the world to me as well. She's, she is a super mum. If my boys are watching this in years to come, I apologise for being overly emotional, but it's a very emotional thing to cope with, knowing I'm not, not with you, but I would like you to know that in the years I had with you, they've been the happiest of my life. I'm, I'm so proud of you and I'm so confident, super confident that you'll be happy with your mum and you're looking after each other and you're positive. I want you to continue that. I want you to do whatever you want to do to the best of your ability and be happy. Whether it's in work or play, there's no pressure. You don't have to be the most successful or richest person in the world. I want you to be the happiest boys in the world. I want you to have partners and have children of your own. I just wish you that all the happiness you can get. How would I like to be remembered as a father is, without being narcissistic, as the provider, I'd like you 
often to remember that whilst I'm not around, I helped give them this start in life and hopefully a comfortable family home, hopefully still in this home. This room is by my design, hopefully it stands up to the test of time. Don't you dare break that window up. Um, I'd like to be remembered as a fun dad. I'm not as able-bodied as I was when you were first born, swinging you around and going to the beach, running around. But I'd like to be remembered as a fun dad, as a positive dad and a loving dad. I think there's no more important thing than that. I love you from the bottom of my heart and always will.